Comparison of angles. As you can see in the figures, angle ABC is greater than angle DEF because the magnitude of angle ABC is greater than the magnitude of angle DEF. We can compare two angles as follows. Comparison by observation. More the opening between the arms of the angle, greater is the magnitude of the angle. Comparison by using tracing paper. Trace one of the angles, say angle DEF, on a tracing paper. Place this traced angle on angle ABC so that the vertex E falls on the vertex B and the arm EF along arm BC. In figure 1, it falls beyond BA. So, angle DEF is greater than angle ABC. In figure 2, it coincides with AB. So, angle DEF is equal to angle ABC. And in figure 3, it falls between BA and BC. So, angle DEF is smaller than angle ABC. Degree measure of angles Take a ray OA. Rotate it from its initial position OA to the terminal position OB so that rays OA and OB are opposite rays. Angle AOB is called a straight angle. In case we continue the rotation further until it has made one complete turn around O and becomes coincident with OA, angle AOB so formed is called a complete angle. In case the ray OB makes a quarter turn, then angle AOB is called a right angle. A complete angle has four right angles and a straight angle has two right angles. Right angle is too big a unit for measuring angles. We therefore divide a right angle into 90 equal parts, each called a degree, and adopt degree as a unit of measurement of angles. Degree is denoted by the symbol written at the top of the numeral. Thus, 20 degree is written as 20 degree. We therefore conclude one right angle is equal to 90 degree, one straight angle is equal to 180 degree, one complete angle is equal to 360 degree. Let us learn how to measure an angle with a protractor. Let angle AOB be the given angle. Place the protractor so that its center is exactly on the vertex O of the angle and the 0, 180 line along the arm OA. Read off the mark through which the arm OB passes starting from 0 degree on the side of A. In the figure, OB corresponds to the mark 35. Thus, measure of angle AOB is 35 degree. We write it as angle AOB is equal to 35 degree. Similarly, measure of angle AOB is equal to 50 degree. We write it simply as angle AOB is equal to 50 degree. Congruent angles. If the measures of two angles are equal, the angles are called congruent or equal angles. For example, if angle ABC is equal to 45 degree and angle DEF is equal to 45 degree, then angle ABC is equal to angle DEF. Let us understand different kinds of angles. Angles are classified according to their degree measure. An angle which measures greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. In the figure, angle ABC is an acute angle. An angle which measures 90 degree is called a right angle. In the figure, angle ABC is a right angle. 
an angle which measures greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle. In the figure, angle ABC is an obtuse angle. An angle which measures 180 degree is called a straight angle. In the figure, angle ABC is a straight angle. An angle which measures greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle. In the figure, angle ABC is a reflex angle. An angle which measures 360 degree is called a complete angle. In the figure, angle AOB is a complete angle. An angle which measures 0 degree is called a zero angle. In the figure, angle AOB is a zero angle.